going to be doing a ASMR sounds video. I have a number of items to the side of me, and I'm going to be making some sounds with them. So hopefully you will find this relaxing. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. First, I'm going to start with one of my favorite sounds, and that's just a simple glass. The sound of running your fingers around it. Tapping on it. And is a sound that I remember enjoying before I knew what ASMR was. Some of you will probably notice that I have nail polish on. I was actually just discussing the other day about how much I miss having my gorgeous nails. Um, because of work, um, management actually switched and new rules were put in place to where all the girls needed to remove any sort of fake nail, nail polish, or of any sort. So that is why I had to get rid of those nails that you probably saw if you were subscribed to me towards the beginning of my channel. But I had some days off, so I painted them. microphone is set up to the side here, and so that's why I'm looking that way. Just a gentle, even just like pressing your fingertip to the side of the glass. Fabulous glass. Alright, so we're gonna set that there. And there we go. Okay. Okay. So some of these items my mom found for me various shops and thought that they would make good ASMR sounds. So <laughs> she gets a credit in the film process of this video. One of those was this little guy. That. It's made of wood, but in here there's beads of some kind.
essentially you're supposed to shake it to make music of some kind, but if you gently spin it and they slowly rotate, it provides pretty relaxing sound. Any sort of bead movement or similar sounds sometimes remind me of the rain, which I find to be a very relaxing sound. Like that. Go closer to your ear. from the mic. Even the um, smoothness of the wood. makes for a nice sound. my headphones attached to my microphone, so I'm, I'm listening along with you. So if I get sort of a dazed look, it's because I'm enjoying the sounds of these as well. I'd love to know um, what you guys think of these different sounds, and um, if you really enjoy a certain sound, I can try to use it again in a sounds video, or add it to future videos, role plays, and stuff like that. So, there is that little guy. I'm gonna set it in the cup, right under there. So next, I have this little contraption that I won from an elementary school contest, and some of you may know what it is. Um, basically, I'm gonna flip it. Okay. And the colors mix and go down in. You might like hear the bubbles as it mixes the colors. Maybe it kind of sounds like a fish tank. And once it's finished mixing, the bubbles essentially stop. You can flip it again to start the process over. I 
I got this. Gosh, how many years ago? More than 10 years, I would say. And I'm surprised it still works. It hasn't broken. But I gotta think toys were made a little bit more high quality in past decades than they are made today. In this one, we have red and green, yellow and blue. This is red with the green dripping in. This is a yellow with the blue dripping in. It's an interesting sound. Hopefully some of you will enjoy. Trying a new set of drinks. <laughs> I suppose it could be sort of hypnotizing if you stared at this for a while and just switched it back and forth as it went up and down with the different bubbles. I might just do a very big uh, dictionary over here, which I believe I used in one of my earlier videos in a definition reading video. Uh, it's a uh, hardcover, so nice for tapping sounds. Pages as well. So, I'm gonna switch places. It's a really heavy book. And I didn't really leave myself much room on the table to be able to set the book. Go me. But that's okay. We'll make do. Both work. These pages are very, very lightweight. Very delicate. You might be able to see, you can pretty much see through the pages, they're so lightweight and delicate. Okay, let's just slip along a little bit. Perhaps read some definitions for you, since we have the dictionary out anyway. Let's see. Around in a circle or in circumference, on all or various sides, 
in every or any direction, in close from all sides so as to surround, in or near one's present place or situation, here and there from one place to another. Mm. Blush, outward appearance, a reddening of the face from shame, modesty, or confusion. A cosmetic applied to the face to give a pink color or accent the cheekbones. not working for me. <laughs> These are smooth too, as you can probably hear as I run my fingers over them. Dare, to challenge, to perform an action, to have courage, to contend against, venture, or try. Delicate, pleasing to the senses, generally pleasant, pleasing to the sense of taste or smell, marked by daintiness or charm of color. Requiring careful handling, marked by care or skill, drip to let fall in drop.
express, to give or convey a true impression, show or reflect, to make known the opinions or feelings of oneself, to give expression to the artistic or creative impulses or abilities of oneself. That is the dictionary, roughly. Don't want to spend all my time on it, but it does have some really nice sounds with the pages. And the book itself. And hopefully you enjoyed some of those definitions. the most that tapping sticky sound which is another one of my all time favorite sounds you know what I mean alright so I'll set that right there Um, next, we have another one that um, my mom found for us. And it's quite gentle. So, it has bells on it. Attached to some fabric. Weird. I can almost hear the vibration from the bells. I wonder if you guys can hear that. One of the more delicate bells. Sounds like it's above us. I think at least. Got purple, almost velvet fabric on the back. It's meant to be worn as like a bracelet or something of that sort, so when you move, the bells ring. Actually, we've been going through a warm um, spurt here, and it's rather warm inside, but um, I turned my fan off because you can't really have a sounds video with a fan going. This 
one we found around Christmas, and you'll see for obvious reasons. I do like this sound, but I'll share my opinion about this with you. I like horror movies. My One of my favorites is a newer movie called The Conjuring. This sound reminds me of the music box mirror that the little girl found. Essentially, I'll tell you if you haven't seen it. When the music stops, you're supposed to look in the mirror and see a little ghost behind you. That's what this sound reminds me of, but I still find it rather... Relaxing. It's got some nice little pitches to it. When it was brought home, that's immediately what I've thought of was The Conjuring. But that's how my mind works. So, I think I'll take this one real quick. It was another bell type one, but it's a much larger bell. And I figured it'd be good for not so much the ringing, but maybe the slight tap on it. last item that I'm going to do, I'm kind of obsessed with the sound lately. I keep tapping it because I enjoy the sound so much, so I hope you guys will too. Looks like this. There's little bells attached to it, but that's not the sound I like. It's essentially two wooden plates. You lightly put them together. I enjoy the sound of the wood up against it.
but I really do enjoy this sound. So that was my little sound bits, <laughs> random objects that I hoped would sound good on your ears. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys soon. Have a good night.